Well, good morning. Welcome back to Wendy Hill Kennel. So we're starting our fall litters off with a bang. This is Patty's litter of kids. And she has a plethora. There's nine babies here. Uh, they're all girls but three. So if I checked plumbing wrong the other day, or I've triple checked plumbing today, and I'm pretty sure we're right on the button. I'll tell you what, when they're this color and somebody moves, you go, oh no. So what we're gonna do is today is tail day, do claw day, microchip day, photo day, and video day. So their day is starting off with videos and it goes downhill from there. So um, we're gonna get them done so we can move Abby, uh, Abby, I have Abby on the brain today. We're gonna move Patty down to the kennel and um, we need the space up here at the house. So since these guys are doing great, she's doing wonderful with them. She's calm. She's been, uh, lays with them all the time. We're gonna go ahead and move her down to the big building. So I'm gonna give you, uh, no one is microchipped yet. So we're just giving you a peek at them this morning. I will put individual photos on of them later this week. They'll have their microchips done. Um, tails will be done and do calls will be finished. So we're just gonna let you see this crew and this first group is girls all the way to here so long as nobody moves. If they move, we're gonna have to start checking plumbing. So this little girl has a white goatee, which will always be there. She also has a nice white patch on her chest and there's no white showing on any of her toes. She's beautiful, shiny, shiny coat. I know you're telling me about it. And she's got lots of really nice waves and curls. I gotta keep an eye on these guys that they don't spin around on me and go off the table. But uh, let's get a weight on her. You need your toenails cut already. Yep, we'll do that this morning. That's what we didn't bring down was toenail clippers. All right, so she is one pound, 4.4 .4 ounces. She says, woo, that's cold. I know, I know, lay back down. It'd be all right. So let me give you this, we'll pull this bloomer off. These, if they, do, if they move, I'm really gonna be screwed. So I've got to keep an eye on make sure that she stays where she's at. This is the blue Merle. This is the most unusual Merle we've had for a while. She has got the coolest back markings. She's like playing on this side and there's a party going on on this side. Um, it looks like they patched worked her together. And I'm just saying, whoever takes this puppy ought to name her Patch. But that's just me. So she's got a really pretty face. She's got lots of nice Merle markings on this face. And for those of you down the waiting list on this line, I can tell you the, the two Merle puppies are already spoken for. The first and second party are taking those. So the first and second family both already said, we want the Merle. So the Merles are gonna be gone when I put them on the internet. So how this is gonna work on the internet is, I better weigh you. When I put them on, She's one pound, 4.1, so really close to this up. They're all really uniform in size. All right, lay back where you were. You're easy, you're not my marker. All right, let me grab you. This is another female. She says, I'm just sleepy. She has a little tiny swatch of white on her chest also. She's doing the breaststroke motion there. Little tiny bit of a white goatee, which will always stay there. And there's a better look at her patch. Kind of goes clear down to about there with those hairs. So there's nothing really giantly significant different with her. She's beautiful, nice, silky, nice, fat babies. Patty is the best mother. Uh, one pound, 2.6. You're just about two ounces, not even two ounces shy of your sisters. All right, the next one in here is another female. I know, you don't like me turning you that way. I'll do you this way. I know, I know, I know. You're all right, calm down. She's got another patch of white on her chest. Very, very, very few hints of white hairs there. There's maybe like, you might even not be able to see it on your end, but when I tip her sideways, I can see about 20 little tiny white fluffy hairs right there. So not very much, no white on her feet. They're kind of like carbon copies of each other. I think we have clones in this litter. Uh, one pound, 1 1.2. So, so far, 
she's about three ounces smaller than the biggest ones, which isn't here nor there when it comes to size. All right, so there's another female, another little white patch on the chest, another just a hint, tiny hint of white hairs on that chin. Okay, we have one escapee down here. Vanessa's, Vanessa's sitting over there going like this, and I didn't see her. He's all, if it hadn't been for my Lipton tea bottle, that one would have learned to take a nosedive off the table. Okay, I gotta watch the boys. They're being ordinary. Um, so anyway, not, we haven't weighed this one, I know. But just a few hairs on the, on the chin. Nice coat, nice body. I'd say she's on that lower, little tiny bit of a lower, yep. She's one pound, one ounce, exactly. So there's two of them now. They're just a scant smaller. And then we got the big one. This looks like she's gonna be, well, she's stretched out. That's part of it. This one has a little bit bigger white spot on her chest. Uh, she's got a hint, just a hint of those little white hairs on that goatee. I know, you're snuggling with your brother. She is one pound, five ounces. So yep, she's the biggest. By about four ounces over the smallest. Nice, nice waves coming on the back. They're all getting nice waves on their back. And yes, I'm sure you're wondering if we were surprised with all the blacks. Yes, ma'am, we were surprised with all the blacks. All right, so we're moving into the boy territory. Oh, he says, I'm stretching. He says, just wait till I stretch. Okay. This guy has a huge white chest. He has white on his back toes. He says, I'm just stretching and yawning. And he has an, oh, he's not done stretching. He has an awesome yin yang face. Oh, he says, I touched his mouth. When you touch their mouths as babies, they automatically yawn. And that little yin yang goes down here under his chin a little bit too, if I can give you a picture from the side. Oh, he says, I just want to sleep. Okay. So another thing, and I know probably a lot of you, uh, some of you are looking for a second puppy, so you know this. You've heard my next statement in many of my videos. As a newborn, their ears are, so I know you've just got to quit yawning just a second. His ears are totally sealed shut. And so are his eyes. So his ears and eyes will start opening between 12 and 14, 15 days old. Sometimes pop in at 12. You never know. Um, this little guy has lots of merling on his back. He's got lots of speckles. And even the front toes have those white spots on them. So he's a, a fancy little guy, but I love the face. And I think it really depends on nose color. He's brownish color on his coloring, but I can't tell if that's gonna be a brown nose or a black nose. He has brown pads on his feet, so the verdict's not in yet. I can't tell you, because some of these are deceiving at times. They look chocolate, they don't turn out chocolate. Sometimes this light color you see will turn silver, which means he's a blue merle, but the nose will actually set that in stone if he's a blue merle or a chocolate merle, and I can't tell yet with that nose. It's turning, it's, oh, my thing's off. It's turned and uh, started to turn colors in a couple spots, but not enough to tell. So also, well, I've got you on there. Well, I got you on the phone. Uh, dew claws. Everybody asks me what dew claws are. Some people know, some people don't. On this front foot, oh, wait a minute. Wrong person. I took his off at birth. I'll have to get another one and show you. Um, some of these guys, as they were born when I had time, I took their dew claws off when they were born. One pound. 1.4 ounces. So I will find somebody that's got them here in a second. I know some of these boys have to have them. Nope, took yours off too. Took yours off too. Let me find, let's finish the boys and I'll show you a dew claw. All right, this is another male. Make sure you got boy plumbing, you do. Oh, he says I got a stretch too. Are you done? This boy has no white whatsoever. No white anywhere on his body, no white goatee. This little guy is jet black. No other color. I know you're just yawning. And he says, I just want to sleep. So can you just leave me alone and let me sleep? As so long as they're warm and they're content, they'll just sleep. That's all they do is eat, sleep, and nurse. All right, let's see what he weighs. This is going to be cold. I'll try and lay you on your back, and then maybe you won't know. 
One pound, 3.6 ounces. He says, oh, I feel that cold pan. <laughs> All right, let me lay you back down. All right, last but not least, this is another male. This guy has <laughs> no white on him anywhere. No white chest, <clears throat> no white goatee, no white anywhere. So we got two jet black males. I know, nice waves coming. They're nice, fat, and shiny. I know, I hear ya. One pound, 5.4. He's the big boy. All right, let me lay you down. So let me find a dew claw. There were five puppies when they were born. I did their dew claws on as they were born. So a dew claw, I swear, I gotta find somebody I didn't do dew claws on. I know I didn't do them on all of them. Where's your dew claws? You got them, aha. All right, so the female Merle has her dew claws. So there is four toes on a puppy. This fifth toe up here is called a dew claw. And the reason we take this off, it gets very big, it gets caught on everything, it can rip up their leg and then they bleed like a stuck pig. Um, I, in my opinion, what these were for, and this is just my opinion, is when a male breeds a female and he mounts her, he digs his paws in. This dew claw, I feel, is was put on a, all dogs, all dogs have this, um, was a, for a breeding purpose, to hold them on the female while they, while they bred. Now, sometimes they have them on their back toes, and this litter, no one had them on their back toes, but we will take this dew claw off. One reason this dew claw is taken off is when you're grooming a dog, if you're gonna give them a short haircut, you're running up their leg, you can catch that dew claw and the skin that holds it on and you can cut them. Um, it's a pain in the butt for any groomer to have a dog with dew claws on. So uh, there are some breeds that really are, um, they feel great about their dew claws and there's like uh, Newfoundlands and um, things like, whoops, um, Great Pyrenees, they'll have four and five dew claws on a back foot. And people pride themselves in the number of dew claws they can have, which I think is really stupid, but that's the story on dew claws. So, they're all doing great. We just wanted to give you a quick video. Uh, we're gonna do pictures this morning. We're gonna do dew claws, tails, all that will be done. Um, and I'm gonna try and get their pictures on some time later this week um because i've got all three litters to do today and i won't be able to get all the photos on when um i'm done so once the photos go on i'll call the first person on the list and say hey well i'll let you all know the pictures are going to go on they should be on there by wednesday afternoon or evening maybe sooner but i'm saying wednesday is where my goal is to have them all on uh, once the photos are on individually, then people can start taking their pick. Um, and I will call each one of you when it's your turn to pick and let you know. Or if I can't reach you, I'll leave you a message or shoot you a text. And um, I will move the puppies that are sold down at the very bottom under the puppies that are not sold. And above each puppy's photo, it will say, this puppy is sold and will be living with... John Doe in, um, I quit putting states on just for security reasons. I don't know why, but I've had people ask me not to do that. So, um, and then today's society, mm -hmm, I, I agree. So all we do is put a name on there. Uh, if you'd rather even not have your name on, just, you know, give me the name of your kids and I'll say, hey, Sally and Brian are waiting on their new puppy to come home. So um, whatever you'd like to do with that, you know, you can let me know at the time you take your pick. And um, so other than that, everything is doing great. Vanessa tells me I'm slowly running out of time. So since so she is the programmer on this, I gotta get out of here. So have a great day. Uh, you're welcome to call me with questions if you'd like once the photos go up. And um, they are scheduled in for spay and neuters already. That will be on there. I think they're being done October something. The, somewhere, like the 12th maybe or 11th, I'm not sure. But um, I will have that date on the top of the website for you. So have a great day. I hope you enjoy your week. We're supposed to have some cool weather. I hope you are too and no rain and you're not in the, in the fire section right now. So thanks a lot and we'll talk to you soon.